Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> what it do, what it do, man. Young Dre and this motherfucker. Playing this. Clean ass Hogwarts Legacy. Four to five, you dig? Just chilling that shit right now, you know what I'm saying? Just started this shit, man, so let's get to it. Alright, go. Yeah. It's the closest one I've got. Not sure how I'd fare in a little place like this. Hello, can I help you? Oh, thank goodness, yes. My name is Grace Pinch Smedley. Of the Bath, Pinch Smedleys? I was hoping someone would come along soon. I was about to defy my father's wishes and would never have forgiven myself. You see, I need to retrieve something from the bottom of the lake. Might you be the one to help me? I'm afraid I'm not keen on mucking about at the bottom of lakes. Oh, please don't say no just yet. Perhaps if you understood my plight, you'd change your mind. Perhaps. What precisely do you need to retrieve and why? Years ago, my grandfather, who fancied himself quite the astronomer, set sail from Hogsmeade Station for what was meant to be a quick stargazing cruise with my grandmother. They never returned. I'm so sorry. What happened to them? We can't be sure. We only know that neither they nor their boat made it back to shore. They were presumed drowned. Father was so distraught that he forbade our family from setting foot on or in the Black Lake ever again. A treasured family astrolabe vanished with them that night. If you could dive down and retrieve it, I may be able to bring my father some peace. What exactly is an astrolabe? It's an astonishing ancient navigational tool. Essentially, a handheld model of the universe. It's mainly used for studying the stars, astronomical pursuits, but it has nearly a thousand uses. Fascinating device. Sadly, I'd imagine it's rusted beyond repair now. Still, we'd love to have it returned to us. It would be like getting a bit of my grandparents back. You seem to think I might have heard of the Bath Pinch Smedleys. Why would I know your family? That's like asking why the sky is blue or grass is green. The Pinch Smedley name is synonymous with intellectual curiosity. 
We are known for nah. our contributions to science and art. Boa. I'm surprised you haven't heard of us, frankly. But with all I plan to discover about the world around us, those that Damn, don't know the name like certainly it. one day will. I don't give a fuck about how much money you contributed to a fucking art room at a college, you know what I'm saying? If y'all niggas ain't helping the world, helping niggas out, you know what I'm saying? Taking pain away and shit. And I don't give a fuck what your name is. How much, you know, it's like them soccer pieces of shit, you know what I'm saying? I got fucking art museums and colleges all around the world. Not just in America, but all around the world, yeah. Because they just donate mm. billions of dollars. Sounds dangerous, especially for something of this sentimental. Oh, the I man, understand, yeah. but I'd be forever grateful. Of course, you may discover much more than the astrolabe. Anything else you found would be all yours. I've cross-referenced mm, the vessel's right. last alleged location against the lake's topography, depth charts, and tide schedule. My best guess is that it's just over there, about a furlong from the dock. It would be wonderful to have my grandfather's astrolabe back. I do hope you find the astrolabe. It would mean so much to our family. It sounds as if her astrolabe is just northeast of the dock. I should dive down and see. Not letting me die. Fuck do I die? This must be where the pinch Smedley family astrolabe is. Merlin, I gotta go to the room of crimes. I got hell of shit. But I haven't identified yet, man. I should let Grace know that I found her family astrolabe. Can't get everything. It's fucking impossible.
Hello, Grace. I followed your bearings on a dive in the Black Lake. Oh, how incredible! Did you find the astrolabe? I did, but it wasn't easy. I shall need to be compensated. I see. That's fair, I suppose. A reward, so to speak, for finding the buried treasure. Thank you for recovering it. You do well to keep an eye out for more spots to dive. A diver of your caliber is certain to find all sorts of things down there. Thank you again. And I do hope you keep diving. You certainly have a knack for finding treasure. That style of game up. Probably should have just had all four of these on for this long time ago. Once I get this, this is over. get this Ah oh, shit let me got to get this man for the
good, you're safe. There you are. You were in such a state when you left. The poachers got to my <laughs> van. Such Someone a state. recognized me in Hauntel Hall and they got to her. What do you mean? Is she all right? She's fine, thank goodness. But they were at her house, our house. They assumed I'd sent the egg there. She said they took the whole place apart looking for it, screaming that we'd cost them everything. If your grand's all right and they didn't get the egg, then perhaps we're fine. I should have known. I underestimated the poachers. And now another creature's in danger. What do you mean? The poachers refused to leave empty-handed, so they took valuable journals that Gran had discovered when she was researching rare creatures. One of them contained theories about a secret hiding place of the Snidget, long thought to be extinct. Oh, shit. Where exactly are these snidgets allegedly hidden? Gran says the journals were a bit cryptic, which is good. Perhaps the poachers won't be clever enough to find the birds. From what she recalls, the journals only noted that the key to finding them lay in the moonlight. Gran thinks it can be narrowed down to a handful of locations. Why would Snidgets be valuable to poachers? They could make more money with Snidgets than they ever would have fighting dragons. The golden Snidgets feathers and eyes are incredibly valuable. That's why they're believed to be extinct. I'm trying they to look poaching. They were out of existence. Hey, get hella cash, and shit. If the poachers found some oh, more, yeah, so we'll go and buy some fucking seeds. And and upgrade for, for the broom. Exactly what kind of creature is a Snidget? It's a small bird with golden feathers. It's incredible. It has rotational wings that allow it to dart quickly in any direction. In fact, mm -hmm. the golden snitch in Quidditch is based on the Snidget, which barbarically was actually used in the sport hundreds of years ago. Gosh. I take it you aren't going to let the poachers anywhere near the Snidgets? Gran wants me to stay out of it, but I know she's devastated that poachers might go after the Snidgets, if they still exist. We had the element of surprise on our side when we saved that dragon. But the poachers will be watching for us now. We need allies. Others who hate the poachers enough to help us, who value creatures as much Merlin's as... Merlin's beard! You're a genius! The centaurs! They'd want the snidgets protected at all costs. Sounds as if we need to go and talk to the Centaurs. We'll need to be careful in how we approach them. Tensions with them are high. Still, I think they may be our only hope. Let me think on it. I'll let you know as soon as I have a plan. Damn it, man. Look at that shit. They're even completing a quest, though, bro. All it is is fucking... Part of you know what I'm saying that fucking bullshit, you know.
fuck, dog. Hell is that? The hell do I use this shit for? Yeah, yeah, I'm this bitch. Be right back. Go on.